All right, in this video, I want to do another example of finding the distance between two points. So again, the distance formula, if you have the coordinates of the points, uh, so if one of the points has coordinates x1, comma y1, and the other point has coordinates x2, y2, again, the distance, we subtract the x-coordinate, square it, subtract the y-coordinate, square it, add those values, and then take the square root. So in this case, we want to know uh, what's the distance between these points, 4 root 3, comma 2 root 7 and 2 root 3 comma 8 root 7 so you know just a little tedious here because we have some square roots floating around but again it says we take the square root squared uh, squared there's a minus in between and again all we do is we just take uh, the x coordinates so the first one I'm, I'm going to use is 4 root 3 the second x coordinate is 2 root 3 uh, and then we do the same thing with the y coordinates. So 2 root 7 uh, minus 8 root 7. And now this is what I have to simplify down a little bit. So, all right, so 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 would give me 2 times the square root of 3. Again, that's all being squared plus, okay, so 2 root 7 minus 8 root 7, that would give me negative 6 times the square root of 7 squared. And now let's be a little careful um, on our arithmetic. So we've got to square each number, so 2 times 2 would be 4. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 would just give us um, a positive 3. Plus, now if we take negative 6 and square it, so negative 6 times negative 6 would be positive 36. And then if we take the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, that's going to give us um, positive 7. And let's see, we can keep simplifying here a little bit more. So 4 times 3 is simply going to give us 12. Let's see, um, 36 times 7, well, let's see. 30 times 7 would be 210, 7 times 6 would be 42, so 210 plus 42 would be 252. And at this point, um, you know, a couple different things, so certainly I would, you know, I would combine these values. So we have the distance is just going to be the square root of, let's see, what is that, 264? And the same thing, either you know you could plug this into a calculator, simplify it down. I think again, you know, suppose we didn't have a calculator. This is even, so I could certainly write it. Let's see, if we divide each digit, I believe we would get 132, uh, which means I could factor this again, since again 132 is even. Um, so let's see, uh, since that's even, two times what? Let's see, how about uh, 66? I believe that would get us 132. And now we can factor again. So we have 2 times 2, I'm leaving that stuff underneath there. Let's see, 66 again is even, so I think we could write that as 2 times uh, 33. We could factor uh, this one more time. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 11. And again, obviously we could have factored some stuff out at any point. Well, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4. I can bring a 4 out as the square root of 2. But then I'm left with just 2, 3, and 11 um, underneath. None of that stuff factors any further. Um, there's no number that individually I can take the square root of. So we've basically simplified it at this point. So I'm going to multiply it back together. 2 times 3 is 6 times 11 is uh, square root of 66. So it says the distance between those two points is 2 times uh, the square root of 66 units.